Hi everyone, in this series I will teach you how to make a job portal application with Earnstack. So let me show you the project. As you can see, um, this is the list of um, jobs, okay, and it has pagination. We are using in this project UI, okay, and now let's try to search and uh, Front end, as you can see, all the results belong to front end. Okay, and now let's try another uh, one. Let's try back end. Okay, and search. And as you can see, we have all the back end results and it repaginate our application. Okay, and now let's try to filter. We're gonna filter only with. Um, Back end, front end, and here DevOps. Okay, it repaginate our application. Okay, so now um, let's try to find job by location. Okay, only front end. Okay, so as you can see, we find only remote job. Okay, when we filter and remote job, and we're gonna filter with only front end. Okay, we have our result. Okay, and only back end remote. As you can see, we have only back end. And now let's try to sign in. If we try to go to dashboard, it will redirect us to um login page. And this um login page is made with Formic as a form validation. We are using um Yup package. As you can see, as soon as I quit the the field, it throw errors. Okay, and uh, if I um, start begin um, to uh, type um, the email, as you can see, enter a valid email, and the same case for password. Okay, um, for password, password should be a minimum of um, eight characters length. Okay, after that. Um, Let's continue. So, um, so now it has a uh, backend validation, invalid credentials. Okay. So now let's try to add the good one. And as you can see, I am in the dashboard. Okay. So, um, so let's go to user. This is all the user registered in our application. Okay. And let's go to um, jobs. We are using also data grid and it has also um, pagination where you can add, create, delete. And now let's try to um, go to this page. Okay. In the register uh, page, um, register job. So as you can see, all the fields. Uh, have validation okay this is um, possible with um, formic and yup okay and after that if you want to edit for example a job as you can see um, we have our job here we populate and to ready to make a change okay and uh, as you can see, we have also this uh, sidebar where you can open and close. Okay, and now log out, log out successfully. Okay, so this is what we're gonna teach you. And uh, you can only see the job that you have posted. Okay, and now we're gonna start um, from scratch and we create a job portal. Um, folder inside of it, I will create a backend folder. Okay, and after that, I will um, open it with VS Code.
so open a terminal okay let's check the version um, node dash v um, and npm dash v if you don't have those so you're gonna install them go to the js um, website and uh, add uh, um, and install node.js so you will choose your operating system okay now let's cd to back end i'm gonna install um i mean first of all let's init um to install a package that json okay so we're gonna choose everything by default on the description let's add a um, job portal okay enter enter add enter offer um iman uh, enter yes that's it After that, we're gonna install a few um, dependencies. Um, bcrypt, to encrypt password, body parser, cookie parser, cars, env to save our sensitive information. Express, um, JSON web token, mongoose, morgan, nodeman to start our server each time to save. Okay. So after the installation, so we're gonna um, create our database and create it for free in uh, Mongoose, um, MongoDB, sorry. So try it for free, or if you have an account, so you would have to sign in. Okay, so let's create uh, project so you're gonna give it a name i'm gonna name a mutual project and um click on create project So now let's build a database. So we're gonna choose a free here. So you, you can see serverless, dedicated, and free. So um, we're gonna choose the free one. And we're gonna let everything by default. Okay. So here, we're gonna give it a name. Um, job portal API okay and uh, after that click on the button to create a cluster so after that we will have to create I mean uh, a user manage our database Let's give it a name, um, job portal user. And I'm gonna add uh, a password. And after that, create user. Now, if we want, we can add a specific IP. If you want only your IP to access this application, you can do it here. But as um, it is a, in a YouTube project, 
um i will leave uh i mean any ip can access so to do so i'm gonna add uh um zero 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 okay zero dot zero dot zero dot zero four dot zero and um okay so you create your database and after that you're gonna try to connect click on the connect button okay um i'm not using a shell i'm gonna use a, a second option okay and copy the copy the link okay as you can see we have password we're gonna need to change it in our application back to our application so we're gonna create a dot env um, file okay this is to add our sensitive data first of all we're gonna add port okay and we're gonna add another file app.js okay and in app.js so we paste here so express from express okay and uh, we we add constant app okay we invoke express and after that one goes more gone okay after that we're gonna add a port to use in our application to access um, the data in .env, we're gonna use process. This is from the JS process .env that port, or we're gonna add a thousand. After that, we're gonna add our connection app. Okay, app that listen. Okay, it accept. I mean, two parameters. I mean, if you want, but the first one is mandatory port, and we're gonna add a callback. Okay, to let us know what's going on, and this will be. I'm gonna add a message. We're gonna add a backtick. Okay, let's say server warning on port the variable a template string and port and now save and let's try to I mean before we're gonna add a, a script in app.js we're gonna use uh, mon okay so let's name it um, start. You can name it whatever you want. And I'm gonna use a uh, uh, npm package node mon. Okay, this one node mon space app dot js. So every time we uh, change, it will restart our server. So npm start. So here it throw throw errors. I know what it is because I'm using um, this port already. And uh, we're gonna solve this by um, using another port. Okay, so um, let's go. We're gonna change it to eight thousand. And uh, here also, we're gonna use uh, um, nine thousand. We're gonna change our port to from eight to nine thousand. Okay. And here, so we're gonna change. Uh, this is like a place all um 
code there. We're gonna add our password, but after this, I will remove it. Don't use it. Okay, and save. And now, um, I'm gonna add a connection to the database. Mongoose that connect. Okay, so here it accept um I mean first of all the port. So we're gonna grab it from the dot env file, okay, and process that env that database and the second parameter is an object. Okay, I'm gonna paste okay and after that all of this return a promise so I'm gonna add that then and if it succeed the, the succeed the message will be DB connected and if error, we need to catch errors. We start our server. As you can see, server warning on port and DB connected. That was eight guys and girls for this lesson. So if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you have a question, please leave it in the comment section. And don't forget to share it with your friends so that more people can watch our video. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.